What's up, YouTube? Jeff, your style OG. And on today's video, we're gonna discuss 10 things you should never wear during the summer. If you're new to the channel, we release a new video every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern, discussing various men's lifestyle topics such as style, grooming, and dating. I invite you to subscribe, tap the notification bell, and join us. And to my returning friends like Jerome Cruz, Salute. Now I wholeheartedly believe in the cliche that goes a little like this. Sometimes it's just as important to know what not to do as it is what to do. And that definitely fits the bill for today's video. On today's video, I wanna make sure you're not making major style faux pas when it comes to the warm weather. I'm gonna guide you away some things you should try to stay away from, but I'm also gonna stay positive here and give you some great alternatives to wear instead. So without any further delay, let's hop right into it. Now, no matter what time of the year it is, you hear from me and from other sources, the most important thing when it comes to your style is fit. Remember, fit is king. And that definitely applies to this first thing you should never wear during the summer. Try to stay away from wearing shorts below the knees. Now I get it, wearing some baggy loose shorts below the knees, maybe even some cargo shorts might be comfortable. But just because they feel good doesn't mean they look good. Walking around with those loose baggy shorts with all those pockets might be functional, but it's not a stylish choice. Instead, here's what you wanna do. You wanna make sure your shorts are above the knee. Usually around two to three inches will get the job done. Now, if you're a fan of the new trend, the hoochie daddy short, and you wanna go a little higher, be my guest. But for most guys, two to three inches above the knee will do the trick. That usually means an inseam between seven to nine inches. And another key thing to pay attention to when it comes to your shorts, I recommend you wear flat front shorts made of lightweight breathable materials such as linen and cotton. But whatever you do, no matter what the fabric, no matter how high, make sure you're not rocking shorts below the knee. Now you'll often hear me say, no matter how great your style is, you need those final details to pull it all together, your grooming and your hygiene. And for guys that recognize this, they realize when they're wearing less clothing, how great they smell can stand out. And that's a great thing to keep in mind during the summer. But if you're gonna rock cologne during the summer, you wanna make sure you're picking the right kind of fragrance. In other words, never wear colognes during the summer that are too heavy. You know, you're real leathery, boozy, your tobacco, your very strong scents, those don't work during the summer. During those warmer months, put away colognes such as your Tom Ford Oud Wood or your Spice Bomb, too heavy for the warm weather months. Instead, you wanna look for fragrances that are light, bright, citrusy, fresh, clean. Think about fragrances such as Dolce & Gabbana's Light Blue, maybe some Versace Man Old Fresh. How you smell is really gonna stand out during the summer, but don't make the mistake of wearing your heavy, woodsy tobacco strong scent. Now, for most guys out there, I probably don't have to remind you, you should wear a nice pair of sunglasses during the summer. But I wanna make sure you're not making the wrong choice for most stylish guys. If you're not playing sports, stay away from the sport sunglasses. The thing about sports style sunglasses, they're very functional. They're great if you're playing some softball or maybe going on a nice bike ride, but that's about it. They're not the stylish choice. Because they're really sporty and athletic, if you have a stylish summer fit on, it's just not gonna balance out. So here's what most guys should do. You wanna pick a pair or two of sunglasses that fit your face shape in our classic style. Think Aviator, think Wayfarer, maybe some Club Masters or some round sunglasses. The key here is if you're gonna rock shades during the summer, stay away from the sport glasses unless you're actually playing a sport. Now next up, I wanna help you with the dilemma guys often find themselves in during the summer. They find themselves in situations where they have to dress up. Think a summer wedding, summer date night, maybe a job interview. But the problem is that year round suit or blazer is just too hot. Therein lies the problem. You should not be wearing your year-round suit or blazer during the summer. Instead, you should be wearing lightweight summer suits. That year-round wool suit is just going to have you overheated. Instead, think of wearing a suit made of cotton, one made of linen, maybe seersucker, and another good option to keep in mind, an unstructured suit or blazer. An unstructured jacket has little to no padding and no lining. This is gonna make it less heavy, more casual, and more warm weather appropriate. Just because it's hot outside doesn't mean you can't wear a suit or a blazer. Just make sure you're not wearing a year-round suit or blazer. Opt for a lightweight summer suit. Now next up, I wanna to talk to you about a style pet peeve of mine that I've been warning guys against since I started this channel. And it falls under the category of the mistake a lot of guys make during the summer. 
that's dressing too casually. Unless you're at the beach or the pool, never wear flip-flops. Now, wearing flip-flops when you're not at the beach or the pool falls under the category of super comfortable, I'm just too lazy to make an effort during summer. Rarely does lazy and style go together. Flip-flops do serve a purpose when you're in or around water. The beach or the pool, go for it. But other than that, when you're not around water, make another summer footwear choice. Think loafers, espadrilles, canvas sneakers. Can make footwear choices during the summer that are comfortable and still stylish. And here's another thing to keep in mind. Most of us guys don't have the best looking feet. And whether you're being stylish for you or for the ladies, remember, they look at your feet first. Do you really want them literally looking at your feet? Now for some of my guys out there, a great alternative to flip flops, especially if your feet are in good shape, you can wear some sandals. Not a bad idea. But stay away from this style choice. Never wear your sandals with socks. To me, wearing socks and sandals is just as bad as wearing flip flops. It looks lazy. Unless you're doing it ironically, or you're a 75 year old retiree in Florida, socks and sandals just don't look good. And here's another thing about socks and sandals. Most guys don't realize it makes you look hot. If you make the decision to wear sandals, wear them without socks. Now, without a doubt, the warm weather top a lot of us will reach for during the summer is that staple, a t-shirt. But here's what I want you to stay away from. Please never grab a slogan t-shirt. Now, I know a lot of guys will throw on a slogan t-shirt because they think it'll show how witty and clever they are. But what you don't realize is actually showing the opposite. It comes off as juvenile. Instead, stick with your basic t-shirts. Black, white, gray, navy. Or if you want to have a bit of personality, add a pop of color. Nothing wrong with that. And to be honest with you, over the last several years, I softened on graphic t-shirts. I really don't see anything wrong rocking your favorite graphic tee. But that slogan t-shirt, it's a no-go. If you really feel you have something clever and witty to say, here's an idea. Open your mouth and actually say it. Now next up, we're going to another example of what guys do often in the summer that I mentioned a couple spots back. Dressing too casual. Please, if you want to be stylish during the summer, no tank top. Just like your flip flops during the summer, tank tops are the ultimate example of style laziness. And I get it, you wanna be cool, you wanna be comfortable, you might wanna show off your game. To not keep it in mind, a tank top was actually designed to be underwear. Are you gonna wear your boxers outside during the summer? I didn't think so, so don't wear a tank top. But I'm not saying you can't wear a shirt that will show off your gains and be comfortable. Wear a nice fitted t-shirt, polo that fits you wear, or a nice looking short sleeve button up shirt. You wanna be cool and comfortable during the summer and wanna show those guns? Pick something other than a tank top. Now next up, I have a style mistake guys make during the summer that I have to admit, I fall into the trap as well. During the summer, you wanna to try to not wear denim all the time. Now I get it, for a lot of us, jeans are the easiest thing to throw on year round. And I'm not saying you can't wear jeans during the summer. Just don't make it your default all the time. For one, jeans, especially the heavier variety, are just too hot. Your bottom half is gonna be extra sweaty. Yes, jeans are comfortable year round, but not so much when you got swamp legs. Instead of rocking your jeans time after time, make some other choices. Some shorts, some chinos, how about some linen, a cotton or lightweight wool trouser. Or if you're gonna wear jeans, opt for light jeans, both in color and fabric. Here's my once again timely plug for white jeans. So yes, I understand, both you and I will wear denim during the summer. Just don't wear jeans all the time. Now next up, I wanna help you avoid a trap a lot of us guys fall into during the summer. That's wearing dark colors all the time. Now I get it, for us guys, our default colors, usually black, navy, and gray. And that's cool year round, but maybe not so much during the summer. In the summer instead, as often as you can, opt for lighter colors. Here's why. Lighter colored clothes reflect most of the visible wavelengths, which in turn means they absorb less heat. Darker colors, on the other hand, absorb more of those visible wavelengths, absorbing more heat. So it only makes sense if you're trying to be cool in the summer, you don't wanna wear dark colors all the time. When the temperature goes up, think more pastels, pops of color, white. Those pops of color are a great chance for you to show off your personality. But no matter what you do, if you wanna be cool during the summer, literally and figuratively, don't wear dark colors all the time. Now, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, it's just as important sometimes to know what not to do as it is what to do. And that definitely applies to knowing what not to wear during the summer. And I firmly believe if you pay attention to the things I recommend you never wear during the summer, you'll be well on your way to a stylish warm weather season. 
Now, as always, I love to have your input. Are there some style mistakes you see guys making during the summer I failed to mention? Or even better yet, do you disagree with some of my style no-nos? If so, let the Stylo G family know in the comment section.